These are Yoru's craziest texts from least to most viral. You decide which ones deserve more views. And number 12 has a tech no one is using. Oh my god, the Ascent lineup, bro. The, the, the first ever spawn TP lineup I ever did or made. This still works to this day, by the way. I don't know. I don't think it's this exact lineup. So there's actually a better way to do this lineup now and or an easier lineup. You get all the way in this corner. You aim your crosshair at like just the bottom left corner of this little spot when you're all the way in the corner and it'll go to their spawn now. Because Yoro's TP changed from like the from this clip. Man. Bro, I'll never forget this. This clip got on like the front page of Reddit. I started making Yoro content like the day he released, even before Yoro released, like before we even knew the character and stuff like that. I was like, I'm just gonna main the next duelist that comes out, which is Yoro. Um, yeah, it got to like the front page of Reddit, and uh, I was so hyped, bro. Okay, anchor the footsteps down. Yup. Yup. Okay, see, again, people think I have, like, an ego because I, like, came up with fake TP first. But, bro, show me another clip where another person was attempting a fake TP before it even existed, like, months after Yoro came out. I genuinely can't find one. It's not an ego thing. It's just something I called out in my last video. People got, like, pissed about it. You have footsteps on site, right? And fake TP doesn't exist, but people don't really know how Yoru like, works. So if you just TP into a place... And then they hear the teleport sound and then activate your footsteps. They'll think you TP to your footsteps. So it was like fake TP before it even like existed. Like it's not even an ego thing, bro. See, she turned like I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Still love that flash. Damn, bro. That makes me miss old Yoru. Like back when people just had no idea what they were doing, bro. Man. It was actually free low. Oh my god, what a beautiful play, yeah. What? Jumping in on ult because I knew she had an op and she would miss her shot if she was that close. Oh my god, I remember playing against this dude, bro. I remember this, man. Oh, that's so unlucky. <laughs> if you remember, he actually wall banged me. He shot my clone and me, which is insane. I didn't know where he was. That's why I shot. Man. <laughs> dude, like, ah, oh, dude. I just don't know if we'll ever get, like, like Valorant back to, like, the state that it was, like, in this era, man. When Yoro first got reworked, it was just so peak. Yep. So, getting a TP to the split enemy spawn was, like, there was, like, no lineup for it. So, you kind of had to, like, use your ult to get the uh, TP to the enemy spawn. And then it was free. Man. Yep. So the second I saw her shoot my clone there, I don't know if you caught up, caught that play. So the play was like, the second I saw her shoot my clone, that's why I zoomed there. The second I see her shoot my clone, I throw my flash before the clone pops. So she'll turn from the clone and then turn back into my flash popping onto site there. Really good play. I, I remember at the time when I was editing this, I was like, I don't know if anybody's catching this, but I'm just going to like signify it somehow. Yeah, man. Like people didn't turn. Like, dude, this is a mortal gameplay. They just didn't turn shit. Like, look at this. This is the easiest flash to turn from in the world. Look at this. <laughs> Just tanking it. Like, they, <laughs> dude, people were so bad. Yep, another spawn TP here. Watch this chat. All the way to their spawn. Yep. Another great spawn TP play. Doesn't matter if you trip Tulse. I'm TPing past it. See? And then you, you anchor the footsteps on the other side of Hulse. To make them think that you're not there. I didn't hear him TP. How did he get past it? The Viper was mid. Yep. Uh... <laughs> Man. What an era, bro. Wow, I love your flash. <laughs> I'm not even looking at that thing. <laughs> Man, it was so good, bro. Yep. The iframes. Wow, bro. Oh, this is Sean Gears. I remember this clip. I remember this clip, and then on Twitter, I, like, tagged him in the clip, and he was like, I forgot what he said, but he was like, GG's, or, like, well played or something. I'll never forget this. I think Sub Rosa was also in this game, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm just getting spammed from minimap because of this nerd. He's just painting the floor, probably, all over. <laughs> oh, that fucker. He did me dirty. I'll never forget that, man. Little 1v3. Nice. Dude I, can't, dude, I love the Oni Phantom, man. I gotta go back to that skin. I've had the arcade set for so long. 
Nice. I'm so much better. Yep. Send the clone down halls, and then it's a 50-50 on which one they shoot. Yep. <laughs> Great play. I'm ulting up B quick. To this day, still one of the most like underrated play. I talk about it in so, like literally almost every single video. I feel like I talk about this. I still like never see Yarls do it. This like right, fast ult flank on defense is like so OP, man. Yep, ground flash. Yep. Nice, man. And you can see the sky ult. You can tell there's somebody. Um, yep, right here. Nice, bro. Oh, dude, the iframes. Dude, just take me back, man. Every time I do these react videos, it just like. I just, dude, get like so much nostalgia, bro. It makes me like sad and happy at the same time. Oh my god, dude, she was so lost. <laughs> well, listen to all this music too, bro. Like, this place went so hard. Yep. The pre-fire. Oh, nice, dude. I'm surprised. See, like... Oh, dude, I was so just... I can't tell if I was just, like, disgusting or if people were just terrible. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both, but... Dude, it's so crazy. Like, I remember... Because, like, all these videos, like, I edited myself before I got an editor. Like, I remember all these videos, bro. Yep, a little Yade combo. Yep, I think it's a triple kill. Oh, no, no, almost. Oh, no, I know it is a triple kill, yeah. Yep. Pop flash out. Yep. Oh, wait, that was a triple collat? Wait, what? Rewind that. How? Oh my god, one, two, three, holy shit. Yo! I don't remember that one. Man. I do, I, I kind of like, sometimes I miss Breeze and sometimes I don't, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, watching these clips, I miss it. And then, like, I see flashes like that and, like, yeah, or like this. Yeah. Man. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. again, I have ult here, TP, and a flash. There's just no way to ever lose this round. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, this isn't the play I think of. Oh, no, it is, it is, it is. Okay, I ult, and then I stole his plant. Yep, flash, so he hops off, and then I unult, or fake TP, sorry, so then he hops off, and then I unult again, so now he'll hop off again. This, like, still works to this day, by the way. Yep. Oh my god, I remember this play, bro. I remember this. They actually patched this out. You can actually see the, the Croucher's now. But like, for those of you that are more new to the game, on Pearl, you used to be able to run into this spot right here, and then crouch and look down, and they, they couldn't see your head. So they, they would walk down here, and then look and check it, and not see anything, and then they would just walk past you. It was so free. It only worked like once or twice a game, and then they started checking you, and then as time went on, people would like, like clear it more hard. Nice, okay. Great shot. Okay, let me break down that play really quick. So here's the thing. So I have TP on site, but I don't have like any abilities or anything, right? So I shoot a little bit and then I fake TP. Typically like I would flash here and then fake TP and then fake. Typically I would flash here and then fake TP to like make Ray think I like try to flash TP on her. But because I don't have a flash, I shoot a couple bullets to get her attention. Like, oh my god, he's here. And then I fake TP because his, his attention's already kind of like messed up. That makes him like have a higher chance of like turning towards the fake TP. And then I really swing him. It's like a whole like art of attention thing. I teach the art of attention in my Yarrow Masterclass. So it's hard to go deeper into it in a video like this. If you want to check it out, links in the description. 50% off. You guys know the deal.
Almost got pre-fired there. Dang, bro. The Phantom's kind of OP, bro. I need to go back to the Phantom. And then I play one game and get a 140 dink and never use it again. Dang, this song reminds me of Average Zonas, bro. I remember I was watching an Average Zonas video and I, I heard this song. Dude, so many Valorant creators quit, bro. Like, I feel like I'm like one of the last few, like, creators standing. So many people, like, don't even make content. Yep, double flash. Nice, bro. I'm like proud of myself watching this. I'm like, nice. Like, <laughs> I'm just proud of my past self. I still got it like this. Don't get it twisted, chat. There we go. Dude, I remember this moving crosshair. The way it get moves whenever you're not accurate. There nice. we go. Triple flash. There we go. Nice. And then I ult here. Yep, I remember this play. Drop the gun. So I pick up another one. Yep. There's one thing I'm learning from this is that like good kid is the goat, bro. I use good kid in so many of my videos to this day. Like fake TP. Shoot a little bit. Just to absolutely make sure he knows I'm here. Yep, shoot his cam. And then TPC. Man, yep. Bro, how close am I playing to my monitor? What the hell? Dude, look at all this empty camera space. Oh wait, I'm kind of like that right now. Aware. Never mind. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Nice. Nice wall bang. <clears throat> Man, dude, people are just so much smarter nowadays. I know I keep saying that, but like, dude, like, since it's released, I've almost played like every day, if not every couple of days. And it's just so crazy to see all these clips and just know that like, it would never be like this ever. Like, people are just so much smarter that like, especially around Yoru, it's just, it'll never be like that again. <laughs> True. <laughs> I don't even need to peek this. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And if you want to master Yoru, join the masterclass. Link in the description.